Ah, yes. Welcome to beautiful, luxurious van life. Yes, this is what it's like living in the van. By the way, it's getting kind of warm in here, stuffy, and I can barely breathe now. So, uh, if you want to do van life, this is what you got to look forward to. Days where you're barely managing in a tiny little cubicle-like space. Actually, I think more most cubicles are probably bigger than this. Got my little curtains up, chilling out, going to work today. But this is it. This is luxurious fan life where you can barely breathe at times because everything's closed off. Because you're going to try to be under the radar, right? So you can't have anything open. So that cuts off airflow, folks. So unless it's like 70 or below, you know, it's uh, even at 70, it starts getting stuffy in this thing. So if you plan on living in the van in a city where you got to be kind of stealth, then plan on not breathing when it gets around 70 and above. Below that, it's not bad. You know, in the 60s, I do just fine. Once I hit 70, I run my little USB fan here. See, I uh, like this thing. It's great, anyway. But I run that. Uh, or some days I park in a park, and uh, I could open up a few doors that way. But uh, at night, you're pretty much stuck. If it's warm, you got everything closed up, you're going to suffer a little bit. And I don't know how you guys in van life deal with it back east, but uh, it's got to be pretty insufferable, you know, with the humidity and everything. I wouldn't want to do it back east. Uh, the only place I would do it is, you know, where I'm at now, Northern California or, you know, I think San Diego or, or the Bay Area would be perfect. I've been in the Bay and done it a few times. It's a uh, perfect climate. You could stay in the damn van almost day long, you know, in some spots. Anyway, guys, yeah, welcome to my morning van life. Or late morning, it's almost noon. I gotta get up, I can't breathe. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Right. Where's my break? That's it.